Hello, everyone. My name is Rochelle Innocent, and I'm the founder and CEO of Project Purpose. Welcome to our channel. Our community is focused on fostering the intellectual and character development in children. We do this through our parent-child workshops that are focused on four themes, autonomy, self-efficacy, compassion, and self-concept, in order to cultivate grit, perseverance, and resilience in each child. And we are so thrilled to be offering one of the first of its kind digital, virtual, and continuous learning environments, enabling parents and children to connect from all around the world. At Project purpose, our overarching mandate is to renew and rebuild family, community, and relationships. Our different social media platforms provide us with an opportunity to have discussions and to create space on all topics that relate to family, community, and relationships with ourselves as well as with others, with a primary focus on mental health and education. More precisely, the ways that the institutions of mental health and education play a role and have played a role in our societies at home large. These discussions and debates provide us with an opportunity to think critically about what needs to change within these structures for us to live up to our bold slogan, support, protect, and empower each child through youth-focused development, better known as leadership in juvenescence. We recognize that in valuing our children's leadership potential, this also translates as recreating and co-creating environments, both socially and politically, that will enable our children to thrive. For those of you who are particularly keen on the topic, we also write thought pieces every other Sunday. We actually have a thought piece scheduled to drop this upcoming Sunday, so be sure to meander over to the website and check out our online content. Now, if it is the case that you are looking for a listening alternative, well, we're available on 12 different podcast platforms for your listening leisure, and we've provided you with access to the links in the description down below. Now, as is the convention, be sure to subscribe, hit that post notification bell, so that you are aware of every time we post. And of course, if you like these conversations and you want to keep them going, like, comment, and share this segment. Let's get into it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another segment here on Project Purpose. For those of you who are new, we cover topics that relate to mental health, mental wellness, and education on a week-by-week -week basis. And today's topic of discussion is education. And on the topic of education, I want to talk about intention and how there is education around understanding intention. And so many of us get lost in translation because we don't clearly demarcate between our intention and how that influences the way that we navigate in the world around us and the intentions of others. We always assume, we seem to assume more often than not that our intentions are mirrored back towards us. And I think that this is education that starts at home that we start to recognize that our emotions serve as signals. They serve as an opportunity to give you a sense that maybe the intention you think is taking place isn't what's taking place at all. We think to ourselves, well, hindsight is 2020 because we felt completely blindsided by an act or a gesture or a circumstance where if we really think about it, there were flags, there were instances where we got a sense of the intention, but we either made excuses or we ignored it or we brushed it over because we were too caught up in our own intention. And I think it's really, really important that we hone in on our intuition. We hone in on that inner alignment so that when it is the case that we're confronted with someone or with individuals who have intentions that are different than our own, then we can navigate accordingly. And navigating accordingly doesn't mean, you know, having a confrontation. It doesn't mean conflict. It just means now you're making informed choices. You're making making informed decisions moving forward. And by informed, you're making decisions that serve you. And I think that that's really important because a lot of the time, and I'm not sure like this is me kind of projecting my North American or my Canadian bias, we want to serve, we want to please to the to the extent where we're hurting ourselves in the way that we're trying to make ourselves open and serviceable to other people. But I think what we need to learn or what we need to try to adopt is if it is the case that what someone is looking for from us is something that's going to hurt us, harm us, or put us in a worse position than what we're in now, then we should be very confident, very adamant to politely decline that. And I think that too many of us have been socialized, have been groomed to bend to intentions that we know don't serve us because we want to please them, because we want to be we want to be seen as approachable, we want to be seen as friendly, we want to be seen as, as likable. And I think that it's really important that we recognize that above being seen as friendly, likable, approachable, above being being recognized as that person who everyone can go to, it's important to navigate in the world around you with self-respect, self-regard, 
and self-love. And I think that when you navigate in the world with those things in mind, with self-love, self-respect, and self-regard over and above wanting to be everything to the people around you, then you realize the boundaries that are in place, that were always in place, that maybe you just didn't articulate. And I think that it's really important that we think about our intentions and how sometimes we can come across people who have contrasting intentions, that there's a lot more power in our intention of self-preservation, if that's the way that we intend on moving, and there is an intention to harm. And so many of us fail to recognize that because we give blind blanket permission to harm, right? To have ourselves be harmed because our motive or the way our modus operandi is to please, is to be serviceable, is to bend over backwards. And I would love to really shift that focus, shift that desire, that objective to one where it's much more about maintaining that alignment with your higher self and in maintaining your alignment with your higher self, being very unapologetic about defending yourself, about establishing your boundaries and about standing your ground. So I think that that's the conversation I really want to have around intention. As an HSP, as someone who is a highly sensitive person, I am very sensitive to intentions and I'm very perceptive as to what those intentions may be and slight shifts in intentions as well. And not everyone acts in their intention, right? Not everyone who has negative or, or malevolent intentions towards you intends on acting on it, but some people do. So I think that it's really important that you recognize that your locus of control is in others, is yourself. So it's recognizing how you navigate and how you pivot your own behavior and not try to control the world around you. That's not something that's within our realm of control. But we can always take the information that we're receiving, align ourselves, trust the intuition that we have built into us and let that inform our moves forward. Let that inform, you know, the degree of proximity that you allow, inform the choices that you allow, the amount of collaboration, so on and so forth that you allow. In any case, that is the topic for today. Some food for thought for you because I don't think it's this magic trick. Intention is something that all of us have the capacity to perceive, to be receptive to, and then to align ourselves towards or against. In any case, that's the topic for today. That's it, but definitely not all. Now, before letting you go, I would be remiss if I didn't let you know that we will be going live at least twice a month, every month for the foreseeable future on our Facebook page. But definitely be sure to tune in. Now, these events are paid events, so if you do see yourself participating in our community on an ongoing basis, then I do suggest that you take a look at one of our package plans. Yes, so we do offer package plans over and above our live events, as well as access to webinars and workshops large focus on self-mastery over and above those events. So check it out. Be part of our game changer community, being part of the change that you want to see, allowing us a small role to play in your journey. We are on the road to 1K, so we do invite you to follow us across all of our social media platforms, and we look forward to chatting with all of you very soon. We'll talk to you later.